Hello dear students, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's video, we are continuing with the electromagnetic induction chapter. First one is, inductance plays the role of, inductance is playing the role of inertia. Next one, a circular ex coil expands radially in a region of magnetic field and no electromotive forces produced in the coil. This is this can be because so a circular coil if it is expanding radially in a region of magnetic field and no EMF is produced in the coil. What will be the reason? Uh, magnetic field is constant. This is the that is not the case. The magnetic field is in the same plane as the circular coil and it may or may not vary. Yes. The magnetic field is in the same plane as the circular coil uh, is and it may, may or may not vary. Then next is magnetic field has perpendicular uh, to the plane of the coil a perpendicular component whose magnitude is decreasing suitably. That also can be. So uh, answer is both B and C can be the answer. So when the coil is expanding radially what will happen? Uh, uh, that's in uh, it is in a magnetic field right the magnetic field will be in the same plane as the circular coil and it may or may not vary this also and magnetic field has a perpendicular component whose magnitude is decreasing suitably that also can be the answer so here both b and c next one when a current in a, circle, in a coil changes from 8 ampere to 2 ampere in 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 seconds. So here change in current it is given as di that is equal to 6 ampere. And in it is 8 ampere to 2 ampere. So change in current is minus 6 ampere. In time is given as dt is 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 seconds it is given. And here EMF produces. EMF how we can find out E is equal to minus L into, uh, yes E equals minus L into DI by DT. Self inductance of the coil in milli Henry S. Yes. So EMF is 2 volt it is given. Minus L into minus 6 divided by 3 into 10 to the power minus 2. This will get cancelled. So here it is, uh, so here it is 1. 10 to the power minus 2 equals L. L equals 10 to the power minus 2. In milli Henry, we need to write it down in milli Henry. So, 1 into 10 into 10 to the power minus 3. Then only 1 into 10 to the power minus 2, it can be right. So, the answer is 10. 10 milli Henry. Or 1 into 10 to the power minus 2 only, it will be coming. So, it is answer is 10 milli Henry. Next one, the mutual inductance of two coils depends on, mutual inductance is uh, depending on medium between the coils and it is depending on the separation between the coil also. So here both A and B, separate is depending, mutual inductance is depending on medium between the coils and the separation between the coils. Next one, as here, Due to relative motion of magnet of a magnet with respect to the coil in a, an EMF is induced in the coil, identify the principle involved. So here it is given as due to the relative motion of the magnet with respect to a coil, an EMF is induced in the coil, identify the principle. What is the principle behind it? It is Faraday's law. Next one. In Faraday's experiment uh, of electromagnetic induction, more deflection will be shown by the galvanometer. When the magnet is in a uniform motion towards the coil, when the magnet is in accelerated motion towards the coil, yes, when the magnet is in accelerated motion towards the coil, that time only uh, there's uh, more deflection will be shown in the galvanometer. Next one is, if both the number of turns and core length of an inductor is doubled, keeping the other factors constant, then its self-induction will be. What will happen to the self-induction? 
number of turns and core length of an inductor is getting doubled. What is the formula for finding out n? L equals mu 0 n square a divided by L. Okay, number of turns is getting doubled. So, 2n it will be and uh, 2n the whole square now it will be. So, instead of L dash, we can write it as mu 0 n dash square into a divided by L dash. So, what is n dash? 2n. So, 2n the whole square is 4n square by a divided by 2l. So, here it will be 2 times the initial value. So, it is, it is getting doubled. If both the, here you need to know that L is equal to mu 0 n square a by L. Mu 0 n i uh, that formula you can substitute and mu 0 n square a by L is the formula. That one you need to buy hard. Okay. L is equal to mu 0 n square a by L. Next is oscillating magnet, uh, metallic pendulum in a uniform magnetic field directed perpendicular to the plane of oscillation is. What will happen? Oscillating magnetic when it is directed perpendicular to the plane of oscillation, what will happen? It will slow down. It is due to the eddy current, right? Eddy current, uh, because of eddy current, it will be slowing down. So, the plane of oscillation, the oscillation will be uh, slowing down because of eddy current. Next is, a metallic cylinder is held vertically and... Uh, then a small magnet is dropped along its axis. It will be, it will fall with acceleration. Yes, what will be the acceleration if it is falling down vertically downwards? It will try to oppose, right? This is because of acceleration only it is falling down. So it will try to oppose that acceleration. So the acceleration will be less than G. Then next one. An EMF 200 volt is induced in a circuit when the current in the circuit falls from 5 ampere to 0 ampere in 0.1 second. Self-inductance. What is the formula for finding out the self-inductance? Uh, L is equal to uh, minus E divided by DL by DT. DI by DT. Right. So here... We need to find out L yeah, as we uh, did in the previous one. Uh, e is my 200 divided by DI is 5 divided by 0.1. It is 50. That is 4. 4 Henry it will be. So the answer is 4 Henry. Next is a small piece of metal wire is dragged across the gap between the poles of a magnet in 0.4 seconds. If change in magnetic flux in the wire is 8 into 10 to the power minus 4 Weber, then the EMF induced in the wire is. So here what and all data are given over here. See here it's given like a small piece of metal wire is dragged across the gap between the poles of a magnet in 0.4 seconds. So T is given as 0.4 seconds. Change in magnetic flux that is dB is D5 is given as 8 into 10 to the power minus 4. EMF induced right time is given E equals minus D5 by DT. Okay, so here it is E equals minus D5 by DT. D is 8 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided by DT is 0.4. 80 by 4, 20 into 10 to the power minus 4. So, 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 volt. Answer is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 volt. Next one. If the number of turns of the coil, uh, turns per unit length of the coil of a solenoid is doubled, Keeping other dimensions same, then its self-inductance will be mu0 n square a by L. Using that formula, all other terms are remaining constant. So, here the answer will be, it will be 4 times, right? It will be mu0 n square as we said in the this case. See here. Here, length is getting also was getting doubled. That's why we got it as twice. So, if length is remaining same, then we will be getting it as 2 into only. So, it is a 4 into only. Now that's why mu 4 times mu 0 n square. If you want, I'll do once more. It is L is equal to mu 0 n square a by L. Turns per unit length only it is given. 
So here it will be instead of n, we can give 2n, 2n the whole square. So 4 into mu 0 n square a by l, the answer is 4 times. Next one, 27th one. A conducting square loop of side l, the resistance r moves in its plane with a uniform velocity v perpendicular to one of its sides. A magnetic induction b constant in time and space pointing perpendicular and into the plane at the loop exists everywhere with half the loop outside the field as shown in figure. The induced EMF is, see here how can we find out the induced conducting square loop of side L, resistance R moves in a plane with its uniform velocity, it's moving with a uniform velocity. Magnetic induction B constant in time and space pointing perpendicular to the plane of the loop. So it's perpendicular into the plane. Its cross is given so it is into the plane of the loop exists everywhere with half the loop inside outside the field. So half of the loop is outside the field. The induced EMF will be. We need to find out the induced EMF. How can we find out induced EMF E equals minus d phi by dt. Here in this case what will be the uh, phi, phi equals b dot s. So it will be b l into minus of d by dt of. What is phi here? See what is we will be doing it as what is phi? Phi will be equal to b l v. Right. So it is. Uh, BL into dx by dt it will be at that time we know it is EMF motional EMF will be E equals BLV so here it will be BLV here it, uh, they are asking about the motional EMF so E equals BLV is the correct answer next one 28th one a wheel with a 10 metallic spokes each 0.5 meter long is rotated with a speed of 120 revolutions per minute in a plane normal to the earth's magnetic field at the plates. If the magnitude of the field is 0.4 g, there's uh, induced EMF between the axle and the rim of the wheel is equal to. Induced EMF only we need to find out. For that what and all values are given here, it is 0.5 meter long it is given. So L equals 0.5 meter and 120 revolutions per minute so we can find out the frequency 120 revolutions per minute right so in seconds when we are considering we will be getting frequency also the magnitude of the field b is given as 0.4 g that is gauss 0.4 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla so next is uh, induced EMF between the axle and the rim of the wheel equals. So how will we find out the induced EMF? What is the formula? Induced EMF E equals half BL square pi nu. This is the formula for, uh, so half is not there. Sorry, half is not there. BL square pi nu. That is the formula for finding out the uh, induce the EMF. So while you are calculating you will be getting it as equal to um, 6.28 into 10 to the power minus 5. This is the correct answer. E, e equals BL square pi nu. This formula is uh, not uh, that much lower by you in your uh, what is that numericals and all. So EMF E equals BL square pi nu. That one you need to know. Okay. Then the next one 29th one. Till 30th the question we will do today. Okay. So here 29. In a circuit with a coil of resistance 2 ohm, uh, the magnetic flux uh, changes from 2 to 10 Weber in 0.2 second. Charge that flows in the coil during this time is. We need to find out the charge. How can we find out the charge? Delta Q will be equal to delta phi divided by R. This is the formula delta phi is 8 divided by the resistance is 2. So here it is 4 coulomb. Okay, this formula and all you need to know delta phi equals delta Q equals delta phi by R. Then next is 30th one. The direction of induced current is such that it opposes very uh, cause that has produced it. 
ah yes it is opposing the cause uh, uh, cause it is producing that law is known as it's known as the lenses law it is lenses law okay so today uh, we are doing till 30th question the rest of the talk questions we will be discussing in the next video so i hope today's video is useful for you and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share okay thank you for watching bye thank you so much